We're in my installation titled Frog Boy's Dissertation into a New Karaoke Cult. It's Philippines in origin and inspiration? Yes. It, yeah, definitely. I mean, the work was conceived there, produced there, and then shipped here. <laughs> Uh, 2005 I did an Asia Link residency in Manila and this country just sort of got, got its hooks in me, you know, and I just sort of fell in love with it and was a bit obsessed with it and addicted for all different reasons, you know, the good and bad reasons. I, I quite enjoyed the city, the people, the arts, the arts community there is really good. So I just sort of kept going back and then before I knew it, three years had passed. <laughs> yeah. Probably the hardest thing is in the culture, the hardest thing is to figure out um, where the traffic's flowing because they change the street directions every other week, you know, to raise revenue. <laughs> so, you know, that's probably the toughest bit. I'm constantly photographing, you know, when I'm there. So a lot of the photographs were the starting point. Um, and I'm predominantly a painter. So I wanted to do a, do a work that was still painting based because uh, I think that's, for me, that was quite ambitious, you know. So I thought, well, an easy way to do it is to still use painting traditional mediums, but make it three-dimensional, you know. And a lot of the environments I was photographing in, in Manila, um, were these sort of makeshift housing, you know. Um, and I thought, well, let's do something that involves a roof over your head sort of thing, basic human needs, you know. And then I experience a lot of the stuff in the freak show, circus sort of things in the provinces in the Philippines and we're still amazed at the sort of old school tradition of using um, billboard painting for advertising, you know. So I thought, well, this is a really easy link for me to bring photography into painting, into sculpture. And so that's how it all sort of developed. Um, and plus the building was big enough to house the work, <laughs> yeah. When I first saw the work, I thought it was a, I thought it was a Mexican artist. Yeah, and you know there is a link, and I guess it's that that you know colonization from Spain, you know, and whether you know things stay embedded in the culture or the architecture or the food or what have you, you know, it's it's quite a similar environment, I'd say, to Mexico City. It's sort of like a mini Mexico in a sense, you know. I'm sure that's like a just my observation and there's probably no truth to it but for me there was a lot of similarities you know um, and I guess you know they have the day of the dead and in the Philippines they just have um, dead day which is a similar sort of thing but it's not so elaborate it's still a celebration of death not a morning of death um, but they still dress up and which is sort of more linked to the American Halloween sort of thing um, so yeah, there's a lot of influences there that come across probably in the imagery subconsciously actually. These projects aren't always easy. There, there must have been some difficulty in the process. Yeah, there's been a lot of difficulty actually. You know, things that you can't foresee when you're developing the project and things that you can't control. Uh, like when this work was finally getting FedEx to, um, to Sydney the truck couldn't come and pick it up because a typhoon came through the city, you know, so we're like, it's not going to get here on time, you know, so these things that have no, you have no control over, you know, and freighting restrictions and rebuilding and getting it wrong and rebuilding again and, and you know, because it's painting, it's like, I mean, luckily enough, I'm treating it like an artifact and something that almost seems like it could have been taken from a place. So it's not one of these sort of pristine paintings on the wall. It feels like it's had, the work itself has been through an experience, you know. So it's got, you know, like leaving the edges rough, making it feel really uh, honest in the approach of the way it's built, you know. I'm into that sort of... Um, stating the obvious you know and even using the cliches in the images uh, you know and if I'm missing a bit of panel on the video uh, screen and I'm too lazy to go and get another piece 
well let's not have another piece you know it's this it's these things of being comfortable within the work and the materials you're using that i find exciting